The common question we get is really around the topic of compliance. We get the question from whether it's large banks, large healthcare companies, or they are accustomed to being regulated industries. And so their auditors require that they know where everything is all, at all points in time. They also are required to know the security uh, posture of everything that they're running at any, at any point in time. Now, the, the paradox of that is in this ephemeral way that people run infrastructure today, it's actually very difficult to know what I have running all the time. It's very difficult to be able to say this is what is running because 10 seconds later it'll be something else. Very, very different from the old world that we're all accustomed to. This is not any more profoundly obvious than in the security world where there's a whole ecosystem of companies that are trying to build a cloud security monitoring products to say, hey, let, let me give you a real-time view of the security posture of everything in your account. Therefore, this one is flagged as red, this one's good, this one's bad, and now go and correct the things that you have out there. It's very much after the fact. Uh, and I think, I think the self-service notion uh, of people provisioning infrastructure has created that problem where now I can provision things that, uh, that uh, may or may not be compliant. You know, our, our view is sort of the opposite, which is let's start with compliance as the principle. Let me codify how things get deployed, you know, how they get their secrets, how they are, are, how traffic is routed to them in the form of sort of Terraform templates, vault, vault uh, policies, and console policies, so that nothing ever gets deployed that isn't compliant. Nothing ever gets deployed without us knowing where it is. And it's sort of this conceptual shift from after the fact uh, remediation, uh, which is, I think, what we, you know, many people have gotten into by virtue of not stepping back and creating that central foundation. Uh, how do we go from this after the fact remediation to this before the fact compliance? Because the, the world we're all trying to get to is I want my teams to be able to deploy the application 50 times a day if that's what's required. I want to make sure and be comfortable that all 50 of those times that application is compliant and the infrastructure that relies upon is compliant.